Do you need something? I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. But you are going to look into it. That is my intent. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Have to make sure it's cleared after. Don't Inquisitor, be losing what's been going on? Dorian's awfully pretty, isn't he? I have to go. Shame the alliance with the Chief's people didn't work out. He hasn't said anything, but he's feeling it. But she was so fast and quick with her bow No yes, one sir. quite knew where she came from Sarah was never quite the quietest girl Her attacks are loud and their joy. What's the current mood? Spirited enlightenment, also drunk What's the word out there? I hear the Ari Shark was replaced by the Ari Shark But he better watch out In the shadows, the Ari Shark She's a rogue and a thief and she'll tempt your fate. Hey, she that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting signals. See you later, boss. Nice talking with you, boss. A rogue and Thank a thief you. and she'll tempt your fate. Sarah was never quite the wealthiest. Inquisitor. Girl. Some say she lives in a tavern, but she was so sharp and quick with a bow. Arrows strike like a dragon. Sarah was sitting away with him. Is that right, yeah? Her eyes were sharp like a razor, but she knew the ways of commoner men, and she knew just how to use them. She would always like to say, Why change the past when you can own the stay today? She She knows they're going to kill her, can only save what's important. Precious space to remember her smile. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please, don't stop on my account. All right. Your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We've been through enough to drop the formalities and simply talk. I suppose we have.
I believe this one is yours. Well played. At your service. Is there anything I should know? I'd gotten used to mages disliking me on principle. Vivienne's views on Templars are surprisingly traditional. They tell me you have a gift for shadows and blades. They flatter me. I can only do my best and hope it is enough. For the Inquisition to succeed, its leader must be willing to do what it takes. As your spy master, may I say that I am pleased. My agents appreciate that they can look at the Herald and see themselves. Have I ever talked about my friend Zevran? He was an Antivan crow. He wasn't always good at it. We only met because he failed to kill a mark. But he made me laugh. I'll leave you to your work. I heard of your verdict on Alexius, Inquisitor. Servitude is kinder a punishment than I would have given, but I won't complain. He may wish to that worse. My fellows have some interesting ideas on exactly what he can do as compensation. I trust everything is well with the mages. There have been a few scuffles with your Templars, but overall it is going well. I'll leave you to it. You seem very interested in my opinions. You know where I'll be. How can I help? Goodbye. Inquisitor? I've got a minute if you need something. Yes? I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me, and yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the Wardens, then it was worth it. You've proven yourself to be an honorable woman. Principled. A great admiration for you. And I've never been more certain in my decision to join you. Leliana makes sure my sordid secrets never come to light. Well then, I won't pry. I prefer to go on believing only good things about you. Varric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. If this is true, then all Wardens are in danger. Even you. We'd better find your brothers. I agree. If Hawk's given you an idea where to start, we should get moving immediately. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 